What is the meaning of a mutation and how many types of a mutation do we have? This is what we're going to talk about in this video. Hi, I am Ms. Saha from Lab Bio Academy, and if you want to get easily a higher mark in biology, so you are in the right place. Subscribe to this channel and like my Facebook page and my Instagram. You're going to find the link in the description box. Let's begin. So today we're going to talk about mutation and the different types of gene mutation. So we will define first of all mutation and then we will list the different types of mutation. So first of all, what is the meaning of codon and what is the meaning of nucleotide? So nucleotide is this small unit that makes your DNA and it's made from a phosphoric acid, a deoxyribose sugar, and a nitrogenous base. In this lesson, we will focus on the nitrogenous base only. So we're going to consider this is a nucleotide. This is another nucleotide. So each unit is a nucleotide. However, the codon is made up of three nucleotides. So CGA is called a codon. So codon is a group of three nucleotides. However, the nucleotide is one unit made up of phosphoric acid, deoxyribose sugar, and nitrogenous base. And here we're going to focus only on the nitrogenous base. Now, what's the meaning of mutation? Mutation means an accidental change. This accidental change can happen either in the gene or in the chromosome. So gene mutations means that there is a change inside the gene. So for let's say instead of A here, you're going to find G. Instead of C here, you're going to find A. So this is what we call mutation or accidental change in the DNA. And these mutations are detected when we analyze the DNA. However, in the chromosomal mutations, you're going to have a change in the number of chromosomes or the shapes of chromosomes. So please look at the karyotype. You will find out that in chromosome number 21, you have one extra chromosome 21. So here we are talking about three chromosomes 21 instead of two. So here, this mutation is called chromosomal mutation. And this type of mutation is detected simply by uh, making a karyotype or what we call a karyotyping technique. Now, so uh, mutation is a change in DNA. Now, there is, let's say, two uh, large titles in gene mutation that point to mutation when one nucleotide is changed and stretched mutation when many nucleotides are changed. Now, in this lesson, we will talk only about the point mutation, so this change that occurs in only one nucleotide. So, in the first part, so this is the normal DNA and this is the mutant DNA. What's the difference? You can see that one nucleotide disappeared, one nucleotide is deleted, and that's why this type of a mutation is called deletion. Okay, so don't forget I'm saying one nucleotide in one strand, and in the other strand there will be also another nucleotide. Okay, we consider normally one strand here. So deletion means that there will be uh, uh, one nucleotide which is deleted, which disappeared, which is missed. In the second example, you can see that here I have five nucleotides. However, in the mutant DNA, I have six nucleotides. So there is one extra nucleotide. A nucleotide is inserted, is added, and that's why we call this type of point mutation an insertion 
And in the last example, in the normal DNA, you have TA, but this TA was substituted by CG, and this type of mutation is called substitution. So, you have three types of point mutation. Deletion, when a nucleotide is deleted. Insertion, when a nucleotide is added. And substitution, where you have the same number of nucleotides, but a nucleotide is replaced by another one. Now, how uh, this mutation can affect the protein. So, what's the relation between a gene, a mutation, and a protein? And as you know, previous, previously, we talked about non-transcribed DNA and transcribed DNA. So, the non-transcribed DNA has the same nitrogenous base of the RNA after transcription, but instead of T, U. So if you have, if they tell you in the given that we have a non transcribed DNA, so in order to make the mRNA, you copy the same strand, but you replace T by U, and then you use this mRNA to look for the protein, to look for the amino acids in this genetic code. So how do we find the uh, amino acids? So CCA, so the first letter is C, the second letter is also C, so this is CCA, and the amino acid is pro, proline, and the second uh, codon is GAG, so G, a, look, this is GAG, and the amino acid is glue, okay? So, in order to find the protein, you have to find the mRNA, but pay attention whether you have the transcribed DNA or the non-transcribed DNA. If you have the non-transcribed DNA, so your work is easy. You're going to copy the same bases but you replace T with U. However, if you have the transcribed DNA, make sure to apply the law of complementarity. So instead of G, you put a C. Instead of G, you put a C. Instead of T, you put a A. So this is the law of complementarity. A is complementary to U and not to T because here we are talking about mRNA. And C is complementary to G. And you use this strand of mRNA and this genetic code table in order to find the uh, sequence of amino acids. So here the point is you have to pay attention whether you are talking about transcribed or non-transcribed DNA. You find the mRNA and you use this mRNA and this table in order to find the sequence of proteins. Now, I'm going to print, scre print screen this slide and you have to find the mRNA and the protein by referring to this table for each type of mutation. And you're going to tell me how mutation can affect the sequence of amino acids and therefore the protein itself and how this will affect the work of this protein. And finally, I'm going to tell you that don't forget that your positive thoughts are the first steps to achieve your goal. See you in the next video.